Shalom Israel. Uh, I just made this video in observance. I'm not here to teach. I have some good brothers in here that are stating facts and I'm an observer. So I've been observing what's been going on and how things connect, just connecting the dots. So I'm hoping that I can help the rest of my Israelite brothers and sisters try to connect the dots as well. Um, there's definitely a war going on in our skies and that's why the skies have been so hazy. That's why, you know, the clouds don't start or end. There, or there's just a gray sheet in different areas. I know where I live, it has never been like this. Like we have gray days, like not like a whole bunch of clouds that you could tell if they're clouds or not, just the sky has just been gray. Um, I know that in other countries it's been happening too. And you know, there's hazy day videos all over YouTube recently, ever since, uh, uh, ever since after the eclipse. But let me make this short. I just want to open your eyes to what's what's going on, and if you put the dots together, awesome. I, I rise to the occasion, but if you don't, that's fine. But I also will state that anyone that is not from Israel, of Israel, the bloodline, coming on here, putting negative comment, comments down, I'll tell you this. You're not going to affect me or any of my people because for one we've been through a lot of trial and tribulations because we you are the you are the curse that's in deuteronomy 28 you are the curse we we see you already we know what it is so you can do that if that makes you feel good you could do it but we already expect it because we know elohim yahweh have have made you the way you are to say hateful thing so that's cool like go ahead waste your time i don't care but your time is running out anyway so it doesn't even matter so this video i hope it edifies everybody i hope it's edifying in the, in the heart and spirit and i hope you enjoy and hopefully i'll be encouraged to make another video soon so hey all praise to the most high shalom and beloved people of youtube I keep telling these slow, far behind folks that if you are not tuned into YouTube, then you just don't know what time it is. These dummies are being played by the worst devils in the universe. And because it is clandestinely done behind their backs and above their heads, they cannot see it. In other words, they just cannot disseminate the reasons for the chaos, even though they know the chaos is there. A number of things that uh, I've heard uh, from people in the Pentagon that the buzzword in the, in the secret of secrets in the Pentagon is uh, the Sumerian gods are returning. And that's what they're referring to as that whole area uh, uh, that uh, Peter's Wow. Was. Can you repeat that again, just in case anybody missed it? The well, buzzword uh, in... In the Pentagon, in the, you know, the military circles that are in the know about the cover-up here, um, the, they kind of, in whispered tones, talk about the return of the Sumerian gods. And they're talking about the uh, what we would call aliens or fallen angels returning uh, into the Middle East, uh, into Old Sumer area. The Anunnaki. Well, could be.
telling you, it's all been set up. It, the whole earth has already been arranged and set up and ready to go. They talk about a war in heaven. They weren't talking about, the Bible is not talking about a war up in heaven. It's talking about a war here on earth. This is the heavens. This is the Gentiles heaven. This is part of the heavens. This is where the war will be. They already know who you are. Those camps those camps know that all 12 tribes are of the Negroid race. They already know it. I dealt with the camp. I was, I was, I was in a camp. And when I found out, uh, years ago, I found out that all the Israelites were of the Negroid race. No one challenged me. No one. Because they knew I was telling the truth. And I can back it up in the Bible. Matthew chapter 24 verse 30 And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven With power and great glory And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet And they shall gather together his elect From the four winds From one end of heaven to the other all praise to Yahweh by Shemi Abishai, double honest of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. ready to uh, basically go to war with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And um, one way he's doing that, okay, and one way he's preparing basically is uh, by putting these uh, weaponized so-called satellites out in, um, out, you know, uh, in, into space. You know, they can't go far deep into space because of the firmament, but, you know, there are, there are certain layers that they can penetrate and go into and, you know, and that's what that's what Esau is doing. Okay, Esau, Esau and the other nations are prepared for the return of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. And um, they're not gonna win, even though they, you know, they really do have this this game plan. Okay, but at the end of the day, man, uh, you know, hey, man, Esau, man, hey, look, man, like there's nothing you can do, man. You know, prophecy cuts through the BS and one of the prophecies is the return of Yahweh Shah and, and with his angels man and Michael and, you know all of them man you can't stop the prophecies but Esau has figured out a way to weaponize space okay and with that okay so called innovation okay he figures that he will remain the hegemony of the earth 
all right? He's trying to steal the blessing, okay? He's trying to steal our birthright because he sold his birthright as Esau, okay, being carnal. And now he, 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 him being, you know, having no integrity at all, being the devil, Satan, okay? He's trying to forcefully steal or forcefully uh, take the birthright back, all right? And he's taking it to the extreme of even trying to fight Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, even trying to fight Yahweh Shah as he comes in the, in the chariots, man, in those clouds. But anyway, I got a quick video, quick verse, and uh, we're going to get out of here. I pray through the spirit that this video is edifying through the spirit. And um, you brothers and sisters, if there be any sisters, you know, uh, are edified. Let's get started. In terms of space wars, we've talked about the weapons. We've talked about the lasers. We've talked about recently Russia and China, what they've been doing. And then the talks of sending up these satellites with lasers that they say are going to fuel other satellites now when i did that story the first thing that came to my mind was come on now this is weapons through and through we heard ronald reagan over and over again warn about star wars space wars it doesn't have to be deep space it can take place right there in subspace right there and then the United States is going to do Colonel Glenn Proud. We are finally going to lead again. You see what's happening. You see the rockets going up left and right. You haven't seen that for a long time. Very soon we're going to Mars. You wouldn't have been going to Mars if my opponent won. That I can tell you. You wouldn't even be thinking about it. Space is a war fighting domain just like the land, air, and sea. We may even have a space force develop another one. Space force. We have the Air Force, we have the Space Force. We have the Army, the Navy. You know. So this is a video that I posted on a couple of days ago. Um, you know how usually after lightning you hear thunder. There was no thunder, there was no rain, and none of those um, none of those bolts of light hit the ground in any of the area. I was at the waterfront by my house. I think I expressed that in my video, but this is what I was talking about, the anomalies and things that are going on quietly for some some reason like it's always quiet things that are happening but the lights are so immense that it's hard to avoid so this is what i also wanted to bring to you guys attention 
and plenty of other things. So here was my pause, but here it is. Back home. Let's see. It's in the clouds. It's not shooting to the ground. It's just in the clouds. This is the main spot that it's in. Whoa. There's no thunder. I'm by the water, so all you can hear is the water. I wish I could pan around with this. I don't There's no thunder, it's like crazy. I don't even know what we're talking about. This is the hot spot, I There's no, there's no cracking, like lightning cracking. Like you usually hear lightning crack at least, but there's no, it's complete silence. This is not normal. Especially where I live, I live by the water, so usually everything is much more dramatic. And it, like I said, it's above the clouds. Elohim has sent me a sign. And look, I always come through. I had a feeling to come to the beach. It, there was supposed to be a thunderstorm today around 5.30. And I thought I was going to drive home from working. But no, I was driving and I and so told me to go to the beach. And now look, this thunderstorm that they said was going to happen is happening, but it's silent. Completely silent. There's a war going on in our sky. There has to be a war going on in our sky. All praise to Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, Elohim, of course, the most high. This is crazy. But at the same time, I mean. This whole time I had no, no, let me not be done. This whole time I had no light on crowd. Did you hear it or am I talking to you? Listen, there's people in the back. You can hear them, but you can't hear no cracking of light. There is a war going on in our skies, man. I'm convinced. Convinced. That's why our skies are all hazy. That's why everything's different. Oh my God. That's why our weather's been different. There's a war going on in our sky. That's why there's so many distractions with social media and whatnot. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video and understand what's going on. And also, you know, don't be afraid to look up other videos about the chariots coming back and the, the, the hidden skies. The reason why we can't see the sky and the stars as much as we used to. I don't know where you live or where you're from. But just pay attention to it. There's a lot of sketchy things going on. And it's all to try to hide the biggest deception of all is the fact that we are the chosen children of Yahweh Yahweh And he's going to come back and demolish anything. Like right now, I feel like he's just playing games because you know, you know, we are you just, just dab a little bit, like do a little, you know, little trick, you know, crack the ankles like in basketball and stuff like that. And then, you know, score. So all praise to the most high. All praise to you, my Israelite people. Please rise above the BS that we've been fed for our, our, our entire lives. We're waking up everywhere by the thousands. I respect y'all. I love y'all. Can't wait to get back to y'all. Shalom.